I'm Scooty. And I'm Jojo. And we're the Scooty and Jojo Show. Oh, a dream. Welcome to Art Without Arrogance. Elegance without elitism. Sophistication without snobbery. Welcome to the scale. Welcome to the ridiculous. Hi. We'd like to take you through a little journey through time, a retrospective, you might say, on the many years that we've spent producing the Scooty and Jojo show. Uh, actually, honey, it's only been two years. Why are we doing a retrospective? I think that seems a little egotistical after only two years. Well, and a little fun. Look, we want to get to know you, so we figured we'd start by introducing ourselves. So here we go. We launched ourselves on the unsuspecting Chicago public in the fall of 2007 with Carpenter's Halloween, a spine-shivering send-up of John Carpenter's classic horror film set to the Carpenter's music. I don't, I think you're wacko. You're saying men behind bushes. Consider it a bloody love letter to our favorite Carpenters, John, Karen, and Richard. And, of course, no Scooby and JoJo show would be complete without my big-headed church puppets. He's on his way. You'll have to believe me, officer. He's coming to Haddonfield. The second fusion piece we created, which is probably my favorite, was Tran the Atari Musical. That was our genderqueer parody of the film Tron from 1982, conceived as a musical sex farce. Out there, corporations still crush little people. <laughs> Treat and murder are random. <laughs> sex is still a dirty little word. It'll be decades before they achieve the kind of freedom that you have in here now. So, you're going to stay with us? If you'll have me. Yeah! Yes, Lord. There's just one thing, Flynn. I know exactly. The fusion in this show was with the various forms of media we used, fusing music, video, and live performance to create a truly unique spectacle. And then came Molly. For Mollywood, Scooty created a fusion of the John Hughes Molly Ringwall Trinity, Breakfast Club, Sixteen Candles, and Pretty and Pink. Good morning and welcome to another day of my education. Hi, Ducky. Would it make you feel any better if you need one of my seats? Don't gross. Oh, you lucky girl. Don't say you Isn't this a dream? It also gave us the opportunity to feature one of our favorite performers, Miss Cherise Boyd, as Molly Ringwall. Where'd you get your clothes? Five and done. <laughs> the other format that we like to play around in is the 70s style variety hour. Sort of like Sonny and Cher meets the Muppet Show. On acid. Here's to the ladies who watch and play life. Bring me Versace blue jeans and white designer underwear. We envision a world of audacious freedoms, vibrant colors, shameless compassion, and rivaled laughter where all are welcome. Johnny's text was a preacher's soul and when his daddy would visit, he'd come along. The nice thing about our variety hour format and cabaret work is that they transfer well for private events, parties, and touring. Jojo and I perform regularly around the country as featured performers and as hosts. Anything. Creating unique, tailored entertainment in all sorts of settings. From fundraisers to house parties to corporate functions. To dog shows to hair transplants. Oh, hell no. This is real. I'm sorry, what? So, anyway, no matter what we do, we're always engaged first and foremost in entertaining. Breaking down boundaries between things people have deemed distinct. In order to see the world in a new way, we meet each other. 